guys, I'm back with a Darman video for you guys today. It's currently 8 a.m. I just did a night shift, 12 hours, so don't mind me if I'm a little bit meh. But I'm hoping to get this video up for you guys before I go to bed. So I hope I can do that. I, I just finished at like 7, 7, 10. It's, it's going to be a Darman video. It came out Monday night or Monday evening, so now it's Wednesday morning. So best friends compete over the same guy. So this one ought to be interesting. Um, because again, like they're best friends and they're competing for one guy. So I could definitely start a fight between their friendship because they're both going for the same guy. And then who knows, maybe, uh, maybe the guy likes one of them, maybe the guy likes both of them, maybe he doesn't like either of them, right? But if the guy likes both of them and then, the, and then both girls like them, then like based on who he chooses, it'll probably like ruin the relationship, you know what I mean? So, it's pretty sticky, I think, regardless, which is not good. But I mean, like... I don't know. I've never really been in that scenario. My current best friend is someone I used to have a crush on, so we were kind of going to get into a relationship. Didn't happen. So now we're just best friends. But it's been kind of hard at, at times, but we're, oh, we're pulling through. Starting. I know some people cut them off if they don't date them because they just can't. It hurts too much, which I fully understand. But at the same time, I just can't lose him. So I'd rather just keep him in my life and have him as a friend. So... Once again, best friends compete over the same guy, featuring Alan Chicken Chow. No idea who that is. I'm assuming it's a guy, Alan, but I guess you never know nowadays. Uh, 15 minutes and or 15 and a half minutes. So let's go. I can't believe you're turning 18 in a week. We have to make your party epic. My mom said I can get a DJ, but I'm thinking we could just create a. I don't think I did anything for my 18th or 19th birthday. Because 19, I mean, you can legally drink in Canada, but I don't care about drinking, so I never did that. And at 18, I don't even remember what my party was like. I don't even know if I did anything. Our own playlist and use that money for something else. I'm assuming this is Alan. I'm going to assume this is Alan. Amy? <laughs> Just the way he's doing that, like... <laughs> like, bro, relax. Amy! Sorry. And, and plus, I've seen people mentioning like the wind. Can use that money for something else. What is there any? Yeah, there's wind here. Like it, it's as if there's wind. Like obviously he did that. So it's like there's wind in the room. <laughs> look, look at this guy. This guy's like you fucker. Like you think you're some kind of big shot. Like he looks so angry. Amy. Yeah, like her, like her hair's blowing. I know people mention like what do they think that there's like a like a fan or something there. Like what the. What, what, Amy. What are, they, what are they doing? Sorry. A really cute guy just walked in that I've never seen. But don't look. Quick, look ugly, Jules. I don't know how to look ugly. Look ugly. <laughs> this guy's a hoe. <laughs> yeah, I think this guy's a hoe. Why does this guy look like Hopper from Stranger Things, low key? The facial hair, the, the face, I don't know. Uh, does he look, uh, look like Hopper from Stranger Things? Let me know. But yeah, this guy thinks he's all that. Like, like, okay, chill, chill, bitch, like, you're, like, you're cute, but you're not that cute, chill. Oh my god, he just whipped at me. Can I stop looking like this now? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I literally have butterflies right now. There's just something special about him. Look, goosebumps. Okay, what are you waiting for? Go talk to him. What? No, I'm not gonna make the first move. Come on, it's 2023. It doesn't matter anymore. If you don't talk to him, I will. And I'll tell him you're in love. Damn. You wouldn't. <gasps> I've been your best friend since sixth grade. You know I will. Okay, 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 fine. Yeah, I'd be way too nervous, bro. I mean, like, there's nothing to lose. Like, there's nothing to lose, but being the fact that I'm gay and I'm into guys, I can't just go up to some random guy and say, What's up? You're cute. Want to date me? I'm going to get knocked in the jaw. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't do that. Um, unless I know they're gay or something, or bi, then I can. But if I don't know, then I can't. I can't just go up to them and say, Hey, you, are you gay by chance? Like, I can't do that. I could do that. But I, li I like my face the way it is. Not really. I wish I was better looking. But... I, I like my face, you know, without black eyes, without broken teeth, so I'll leave it at that. <coughs> if you know what I'm referring to. Uh, hi. I just wanted to come over and... Yeah, he was check he's checking you out. He's like... 
I... I guess I already said that. Sorry. You don't need to say sorry. I'm Andy. I just transferred here. Uh, that'll be eight dollars. So, are you gonna tell me your name? Oh. Are the other guys like, can I have my money? Yeah. Sorry. I'm Amy. Shoot, I just apologize again. Sorry. Everything okay? I can't believe this. I totally forgot to bring cash. I hate asking this, but... Yeah, yeah, of course. Damn. Here, just, just take it all. <laughs> take it all? Thanks, Amy. Uh, here, put your Insta in my phone. Maybe we can hang out sometime. Yeah, I'd love that. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that he's not only asking her because he get, but because she paid for his food. Because if, you know, if he's only doing that because she did something for him, then it's kind of like, eh, because it's not really genuine. But if he genuinely likes her and, and everything, then okay. But not only because of that reason, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, like the money thing. Thanks again for buying me lunch. I'll see you around. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at Sorry. this guy. <laughs> this guy hates his life. He, he's like, for fuck's sakes. Just fucking leave my desk, bro. Just leave. Like, like look at him. He's like... I'm totally embarrassed myself. Story of my life. But he got my IG. <gasps> so who can tell me? Oh no. I don't know, guys. With that music and with him laughing like that, laughing at the money, I got a bad feeling. How to calculate the force acting on an object given its mass and acceleration? Anyone? 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 The force can be calculated. Oh look, it's a new student, and guess what? There's an empty seat right behind, right beside that girl that likes him. So great, he'll sit right there. Calculated using Newton's second law of motion. is the force applied to the object, M is the mass of the object, and A is the acceleration of the object. Right. In this system, M, or mass, can be measured by kilograms, and acceleration by meters per second squared. Therefore, unit of the force can be defined I can't as with this. kilograms times mass divided by S squared. Do you want to say that again, but in English? That's absolutely correct. You must be the new student, Andrew. Go and have a seat. There's only a couple minutes of class left. Why is he so late? He's saving the seat for someone special. You? I don't know. He seems like a fuckboy to me. Oh, look, the class. You seem really smart, Andrew. Maybe you can help me finally understand this class. Sure. I'd love to help. Oops. Happy early birthday. Thanks. Um, you can actually come to my party. If you want. Sounds fun. Thanks. Oh. Everything okay? No. I wanted to call an Uber home, but my phone died. God, I don't want to meet you. Oh. I can call you on if you want. Wow. You do that for me? Thanks. Um, Julie. But my friends call me Jules. And what does your boyfriend call you? Um... <laughs> hey, Julie. Hey, Sasha. Hey. You're not gonna believe this. I met a boy in my physics class. Shut up! Oh, wait a second. Oh my god, okay, I'm stupid. I don't know why, but I thought this girl was this girl. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Girl, you better be joking. I don't know, I have no idea why, but I literally thought that this girl was this girl. Why did I think that? Like, I didn't think at all that I thought, oh my god. I got my girls mixed up, apparently. I got my girls, they don't even look the, 
like they have different hair. I don't know what the, they're totally dressed differently. I just finished work 12 hours. Don't judge me. Thank you. But did this girl literally not see the guy before? She literally encouraged him. Like he, like she was looking over at them. Like she turned around. She saw the guy. I don't understand. I don't understand. Because then now he introduced himself as Andy to her, right? But then I guess his actual name is Andrew. So Andy, Andrew, but it's the same guy. And again, I don't know how the hell she doesn't already know what this guy looks like because she was literally the one that set him up, that basically forced her to speak to him. And she was turning around looking, like, so she saw the boy, the guy. So I, I don't understand, but okay, sure, okay. And stylish. Let's roll with it. Oh, oh, he's right there. Don't look. Okay. I noticed that she said don't look, but I thought she still looked. Like, okay, you know what? No. That's it. I'm going back. Thank you. But is she not looking? Is she not looking? She's looking dead ass at them. She's faced this way, and then she's literally doing a whole turnaround. She's looking, bitch. She's looking. How do you not see? Like, unless, coincidentally, you know, they're obviously talking, like, in, in front of each other. So, if her view's here, maybe the girl, like, maybe the girl is here, maybe the guy is here, or maybe the guy is here, and then the girl is here. So, she's looking, but maybe he only saw it in the back of his head. But still, you would still notice the same hairstyle, the same, like, come on, bro, I'm pretty sure you saw the kid. Okay, anyways, whatever. I'm pretty sure she saw. I, I know she said don't look, but still. You're not going to look like, you know what I mean? That's so exciting. I can't believe we both met a boy today. Oh. Andy just followed me on Instagram. Look. What? I met him first. It's not like I knew it was the same guy. You looked at him. Okay, well, now that you know, you need to stop talking to him. Oh. I can't do that. He's literally in my class. And I already invited him to my party. Why would you do that? Like I said, I didn't know it was the same guy. Jules, boys always go for you. Can't you just leave this one for me, please? Normally I'd say yes, but you two just had a physical connection. What Andrew and I had was something deeper. Right. It wasn't just a physical connection. Okay. Plus again, he used her basically for the, not used her, but like he basically had paid for like the lunch and then he basically she obviously paid for the uber because unless he gave like when you log into uber obviously like your payment information is on there so unless he gave her the payment details which i doubt he did then it if he did not do that then she paid paid for it so hey, he's probably doing this with other guys with me if he was in love with you damn damn exactly now give me your phone i'm gonna block it no stop get it. Go. There's no way I broke. There's no way. Thanks a lot. You almost cracked my screen. My bad. I didn't mean to. Look, we don't have to be fighting like this. Especially over some guy we both just met. Okay? Then yeah, who what should the, we do? Then who gets the guy? Let's let him choose on his own. And we'll both agree, whoever he chooses, the other person will just be supportive. No matter what. That's that's a pretty good deal. Like, let the guy choose. Again, there's two of you. There's one of him. Whoever he likes, probably neither, because he's probably just using you both. Just a disclaimer there. But we'll let him choose. And then either way, it's, it's not your guys' fault, because it's not like... The, the guy chose. It's not your fault. But I hope that they still remain best friends, though. And to answer that, you can just use the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, just transformed from one form to another. Oh, that makes sense now. Gosh, you're so smart, Andy. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you want to bring a plus one to my party, feel free. I've got this friend named Amy. She's really cute and single. Maybe you can introduce someone to her. Uh, I was actually planning on coming solo. That's all right. Is your car in the shop? Hello. That... Okay, yeah, this looks like a car place, okay. It's alright. 
Is your car in the shop? Yeah, that's why I needed you to call me an Uber so I could get home. You don't have your parents or someone to pick you up from school? Call me an Uber? Yeah, call me an Uber. Yeah, but calling you an Uber is different from paying the Uber, right? But then again, you usually pay when you, like, you when you request it, you pay for it. So, again, unless he gave her credit card information, which I doubt he did, then, so then she paid. Home. You don't have your parents or someone to pick you up from school? Right. I, I, uh, I never met my dad. And my mom passed away when I was 16. I'm all alone. And I don't have any money. It's been tough. My ex-girlfriend used to have to pay for everything for me before she moved to Korea. She was so sweet. That's part of the reason why I loved her. So your transmission. It's part of the reason why you loved her, only because she gave you money? Or because she was supportive and, and with you the whole time? It's okay, which is good. But you really gotta replace those tires. I can change all four for 600 bucks. $600? I don't have that kind of money. And I need my car, now I can't get back to school. So it seems like he genuinely has a car issue. Unless he set this all up. Like, I, I can't tell because originally I thought that he was using her for money. And then when he did that evil grin with the with the, with, the, with the dramatic dinner now music, and I was like, oh no, he's sus. Is he being honest? I can't tell. I don't know what to tell you. Unless you wouldn't mind spotting me, Jules. Um, it really mean a lot to me. And but you just met him for like I don't know how long it's been, but I'm assuming it's been it's been a day or two. And this she already gave him lunch or an Uber. And her other friend also helped with lunch, which was like eight dollars, and then I don't know how much the Uber would have been, but probably ten, twenty at the minimum, depending on the distance you're going. And now six hundred dollars. I could find someone for your friend. <laughs> Let me get my credit card. Thanks. You're the best. Bro, what if he like writes down the credit card? Oh, actually, uh, my cousin's calling me. Cousin, right. I'm gonna give your number to the mechanic and he'll contact you for the payment. Is that cool? Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, I... guess... That's sus. Hey, Amy! I was just thinking about you. You were? Aww. I saw this cute jacket and it reminded me of you. Oh, wow. That's really nice. It's totally my style. Do they have it in a small? Yeah, uh, this one's actually a size small. Awesome. Would you mind getting it for me? And I'll pay you back? I'll pay you back, yeah. But you have to pay me back right now. Like, you actually have to pay me back right now. Or, you can wait until you're out to store yourself with money. Then you can get it. I can wear it on our first date. Like, see what he's doing? He Like, he's saying, oh, you know, oh, oh, he, I'll wear it on my first date with you. And then she's like, oh my god, really? First date? <laughs> okay. And then she'll, and then she'll say yes. Just like the other girl was kind of like, oh, if you get me your, like a friend from my, if you get a date for my friend, let let me grab my credit card. Like, what if Amy never called? What if he wrote down your credit card information, bro? Like, let's say he doesn't give the phone to the mechanic. Like, let's say the mechanic, let's say it's on speaker. Like, the guy could have like saved the credit card information, like the expiry date, everything, and then and then you basically have her credit card. Hmm. I'm really iffy with giving my credit card to anybody, even if it's like numbers or paying online, I'm kind of like iffy with it, if it's on an, an actual card reader. Which even, even card readers, they can have like a check that someone puts in to make it like compromised, right? So be careful bitches with your money, please. In that case. In that case, of course. You were going to Julie's party, right? I was thinking you can come as my date. Hey, where are you? Literally about to walk in right now. Oh, yay! Oh, by the way, I spoke to Andy. He said that he was gonna bring a friend. Oh my gosh, you look so. Like, she's smiling, but she's angry, and you can see that she's angry. Sorry, guys, I'm just gonna plug in my laptop real quick before it dies on me. See, like she's like, which means you're happy, but you're, you're not happy. You're like you're faking happy, but you're actually angry as fuck, and you want and you want to knock her on the jaw. That's what you mean. By that. Did you guys come together or just arrived at the same time? No, we came together. Smell Andy's new cologne. It smells so good. When I asked you, you said you were gonna bring a guy for Amy. 
You didn't tell me you guys were coming together. Bringing a guy for me? Why would you ask him to do that? You're really going to question me? I can't believe you show up to my birthday with a guy that I like! Okay, hey girls, calm down. Let's take it down a notch. She got angry fast, bro. <laughs> you like? I liked him first, so back off! Oh shit, oh, okay, okay, let's go. Fight, 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 fight. Spent six hundred dollars for his car. You're right. I'm the idiot who spent six hundred dollars for him to get new tires. Wait, what? Wait a minute. So combined, you both spent eleven hundred dollars. You think he was just using us for money? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. He doesn't have any since his mom died. He told you his mom died? He told me his mom lost her job and that he needed the help. That liar! Damn. And now they're gonna get revenge. They're, you know what? There's still two and a half minutes left. I'm I'm waiting for this. Come on, girls, get revenge. Please get revenge. Look, I'm sorry for ruining your birthday and bringing Andy as a date. I never should have done that. I'm sorry for throwing that drink. And the cake. No, she got angry. She got heated fast. It was good. <laughs> Revenge or From now on, let's promise to never fight over a guy again. It's just not worth it. Sisters before misters. Bestie before the resty. I never heard that before. I I was wondering what it was for girls. Because I know it's broke before hoes. Sisters before so sisters before mistress. Before okay, mistress. I guess that makes sense. Besties Bestie before resties. Before the resty. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Sure. Okay. Okay. Now what? Can I have money? Oh, Sasha just sent me a TikTok. Ooh. TSA, this guy right here, Andy, he used to go to my school, Piedmont, and he's basically a pathological liar. He scared a bunch of girls to get free stuff. Be careful. Now it makes sense why he transferred schools. We can just Revenge. let him get away with all of this. Revenge, Death please. And actually, I have an idea. There we go, okay. We got some revenge coming. Okay, I'll take it. What's gonna happen? What's up? How's it going? Damn. Uh, oh, so I guess they told every girl or okay. Hey ladies, how's it going? Nice try. Beware of this compulsive liar. He uses girls to put. Is this even, even the same guy? I don't know why, but that one's kind of different. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Good luck trying to find another girl to use here after this. 
I mean, he'll just go to another school where they don't know anything unless you post it on every single school in like the freaking country or something. Uh -oh. By the way, there's one more surprise waiting. What is it? Ooh. What is it? Guess you're not so smart after all. Oh shit! That was a like growl at the end. That was obviously not him. Anyways, okay, that was actually pretty good. Oh wait, is this like two best friends fight over boy? Alan's universe. Is this is this the same? What is this? Is this the Alan guy? Yeah, this is Alan. Okay. So, is this like a series, or 10 minutes? 31 million subscribers, so damn, that, yeah, this guy's famous. I did not even know he existed, but that was a really good video, guys. But it's good that, you know, they kind of, they didn't get all the money back, because obviously he still paid for like the Uber, or they still paid for the Uber and the lunch. But at least the most expensive things, they kind of got back, so they got back the jacket, they can pro probably, you know, probably return it with the receipt, uh, money back, fine. With the tires. I guess, I don't know how they did it, but I guess they were able to get the money back and then just remove the tires. But, which is crazy, but at least they got their money back. I'm assuming both got their money back, which is obviously, obviously the great part, because then, like, nothing, like, lesson learned, but no money was lost. Not a lot of money was lost, in, in a sense. Comments. Never let anyone come into your life and break what you both started. This is actually a really cool duo. Hopefully we see, see more of these girls together. Uh, Dr. Constantinus is so good. Lesson of the story. Don't trust people you don't know. Thank you, Dr. for teaching us this. Exactly. If someone just comes into your life, do you have money? No, I do not have money. And then if they leave, uh, this is a great, like, test. I forgot to mention this in another uh, other video about, like, using people and money and all that. If you think someone's using you, think about what they're using you for. So let's say... Let's say they're using you for a ride each time. And, like, let's say you say, oh, no, I'm not giving you a ride. And then, what do they do after that, right? If they ignore you, if they don't be your friend anymore, well, then there's your answer. Same thing with everything. Oh, can I have money? Sure, here's some money. Can I have money? Here, here. Yeah, sure, here's some money. Then, I, then, uh, then ask again. Oh, uh, oh, hey, can I have some more money? It's like, no. If they, if they stick around, you're still friends, you're still best friends, whatever it may be, well, then, then you're fine. Then they're most likely not not using you. Like if they stay in your life even after you stop giving them what they want, basically, and they're still in your life, that's a sign that they're not using you. It might it might just be a sign that they might need help and they want it. like they are they they appreciate you and that that they want help and everything, but they're not using you for it. Like you're still best friends, you're still friends. They just ask you for money here and there to help, and they also help you back for like for example. Then you're fine. Like it, it's not bad. It's not bad to help anybody. It's not bad to help people, but just make sure that. They're giving the same thing back, or at least they're paying you back, or something like that. You know what I mean? Just a, what did this person say? I already had a mustache by the time I was I was, I was eleven. What the fuck? Who the hell has a mustache at eleven? Okay. Like, was you had puberty at eight or something? Like, fuck. Anyways, fun facts. John Allen might be one of the best clubs. Must must. Bleh. Okay. I'm not gonna say that one no more. <laughs> Keep up the good work. This collab is pretty good. Keep up the good work. So glad to see Alan and his team in this video. It's funny and true at the same time. So I assume those two girls are part of Alan because they're acting like Alan and the two girls are part of a different series, which it looked like in the end of the video that, that I pressed that video. It looked like that was that was, they were on the same video together. So cool. I agree. It's during your bad times that someone's true colors are revealed. Exactly. So again, if someone leaves you during your bad times or if someone... Is, again, it's just using you, and they leave when you're not gonna like. If, if someone, if if you suspect someone's using you, test out that theory. Again, say, oh no, sorry, I, I don't have any money. And then if they if they don't mind, well then great, then 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 maybe you're fine, right? But you know, if they always ask you for money, that's definitely a sure a, a, a sure sign. If they're joking, that's obviously a joke. But if they're asking you all the time. And like you say no, and then they get mad at you, or they, they try to fight you on it, it's like, they're probably using you. But if you say no, and they don't mind, they're like, oh yeah, it's fine, like, I'll just ask somebody else, or I'll figure it out. Okay, well then maybe they're not using you, right? It just has that. That's a really good way to test somebody like that, because again, they find they can find ways of manip manipulating you into thinking that. So again, like this guy, oh yeah, I'll find a day for your best friend. Oh, here's my credit card. Um... 
Oh yeah, um, I don't, I don't, I don't have any money. Can you pay for my lunch? I, 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 you, you can have my Instagram. Okay, sure, I'll pay for you. Like they, they have little ways of doing that, and 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 because he knows he's all hot and, not, and all that shit, even though he's not that hot. But okay, whatever. Oh, whatever, girly pop. <laughs> it's like they're gonna be like, oh, you know, yeah, sure, you know, this guy's oh my god, this, uh, this guy's so cute, and he's saying, oh, if I do this, then then I'll do this for uh, then he'll do this for me. Fantastic. There's the there's traps that people can set, so be uh, be aware of those traps. That's all I'm saying. It's during your bad times that someone's true colors are revealed. I just, I just read that. Gold diggers are the worst, especially the ones that use multiple girls to get what they want. To be honest, I bet it feels like you can't trust anyone after a relationship like that and almost getting someone you care about taken away from you. Love this video and the message you gave us. The end part where the guy said, no, really sparks the words. That's how you take down the bad guys or bad girls. Don't know if I'll stir them up. Okay, yeah, 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 whatever. True friends should never compete with the same guy. Yeah, so now all about the two friends com competing. That's obviously not good either. I get it. You both like the same guy. But if you both if you both like the same guy, even if one of you does end up dating him, then the other's going to be hurt regardless. So if you have a best friend that, and then you both like a guy, or it's vice versa, two guys like a girl, maybe just don't, maybe neither of you should date them just for the sake of your friendship. Because again, Bros before hoes and besties before the uh, besties before the besties sisters before the misters, right? So it's like, you know what I mean? Like trying to lose your best friends over it because again, let uh, let's say they weren't even friends anymore after this for God knows what reason, and then they both lost the guy, right? Maybe they would have made up after that, but who knows? Like don't let don't let that happen. Try not to let that happen. It can be hard. It can be hard to be honest. It can be hard. Like, you're a best friend to someone, and then you both are, like, like the same guy. And as best friends, you tell each other, Oh my god, be like, bestie, I love this guy so much, he's so cute. Or, I love this girl so much, he's so cute, right? If you both like that person, it's gonna be kind of awkward. Because, like, you can't really rant to that person. Oh my god, yeah, guess what? I have a date. It's like, what? And there's gonna be jealousy and fighting, and as you saw in this video. So please be care careful with that. Thankfully, I've never been in that situation. I'm not, I'm not gonna wait many times. But, yeah, it could happen. So, in that case, maybe just neither of you get the guy or, or the girl just for the sake of your friendship. That's just all I'm going to say. Um, it wouldn't be fair. I guess it, it also makes sense for whoever spoke to the girl first. In this case, that girl actually encouraged this girl to go talk to him. So, in that case... And plus, I swear to God, she saw the guy. Like, she literally saw the guy, bro. Like, I know she... She said, don't look, but she turned around, bro. She looked at the guy. Anyways, so this is already a 33-minute reaction for a 15-minute video. This is not good, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, which I definitely did, um, please let me know in the comment, comment section down below what you guys thought. Please give this video a like. Please subscribe to Darman and myself and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. And thank you so much for tuning in to the and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Peace.